I'm Libra. Welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. So I already pulled some energy out here and we have mutual energy. We have divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy. And I'm going to tell you, there's a very clear distinction between the two. Yet there is a very strong shared energy between the two of you guys. Even if you haven't met this person, the two of you share gifts, which makes total sense because you are a divine being, okay? This is a divine connection. Whether you have united with this person in this lifetime, you definitely have reunited with this person in a past life. The two of you share some form of like spiritual gift. And I feel like that's intuition, a strong power of intuition here. There's a, a gift of spirituality that the two of you share. It's intangible, okay? Definitely something that's spiritual, right? Again, this could be high priestess energy to the Hierophant energy. Also, too, there's a gift that is in the ethers for you guys that hasn't materialized yet. This could be like Ten of Pentacles energy. We'll get more information, but you guys share a talent, okay? You and this divine masculine, you and this divine feminine. You are going to join forces with this masculine. You were meant to join forces with this masculine to share your talents and your abilities with other people. And when you come into union and harmony, it's like it's going to be like catastrophic in a good way. OK, so I just want you all to know that's what the shared energy is. Now, the energy for divine feminine. There is a clear distinction between you and masculine divine feminine divine feminine. You are literally you know your power, you know your gifts, you know you have a really strong intuition here, definitely some high priestess in, in energy. Trust your intuition right now. I feel like you're in the energy of like trusting how you feel, trusting what you see. You might get downloads, visions, dreams. You might be clear sentient, clear audience, right? All of your, diff your gifts are going to be different. I feel like your spirit wants you to seize these opportunities or this is the energy that you've been in here recently. So go with the flow because I feel like you're in this You've been feeling like maybe a little bit moody. Maybe you've been having some emotional mood swings or you've been some you've been going through some form of healing. If you resonate as divine feminine, right? Um, the healing, the emotions are coming to the surface. Whatever was beneath the surface, I feel like you guys are going through a really transformative time right now in your life. And the unconscious is becoming conscious or like there's a certain level of just power that you're reaching. And this is really, really good. You're really stepping into your power, divine feminine. Also, too, you know, what's so crazy is you're ready for something new. You're birthing. You're in this empress energy. Uh, it says birth, new beginnings, family, nurturer, fertility, growth and creator. So you're in this really good energy of growth, healing, psychic abilities here. Um, nurture your dreams. You're nurturing yourself and you're ready to approach a new chapter in your life. And you're waiting on that. But I feel like this that's kind of been rocky. It's been up and down, but you're moving in the right direction. And you don't look as stressful as this masculine because I feel like this masculine is going through some stress. We'll get through there. We'll get there, though. Um, allow situations to fall away from you. And I feel like that's the energy that you're in. You're ready to release the old. You don't want anything from the past or anybody from the past holding you back. I feel like you are ready for the new opportunities. You're ready to step forward and end what needs to be needs to be ended. OK, you're in a, at a turning point in your life. I feel like Divine Feminine, you have endured a lot. You've endured so much that you've healed and you've learned. And now you're moving into this era of magic and uh, abilities and gifts. And so good is coming from this. You're strong, Divine Feminine. Now, I'm not saying Divine Masculine is not strong, but I feel like the Divine Masculine is going through a fight. I'm seeing boxing gloves here. Somebody here could be a boxer or they could be some form of fighter or this could be spiritual fighting. I definitely see some conflict going on with Divine Masculine right now. OK, there's a little bit of conflict and chaos going on in Divine Masculine's life. This it's time for Divine Masculine to go through these changes and be with you. But what it looks like here is they are resisting. 
they're resisting this right now. Uh, I'm just going to keep it real. Um, and I think that's because divine masculine has been hurt. There's an energy of this masculine really like feeling like they need to guard themselves. They need to protect themselves. They need to protect their assets. They need to protect their money from somebody or something. Okay. This, this divine masculine is really feeling like they're tired of fighting. The, it's, it's, it's giving like, do I have the ability to make it through this? Do I have the ability to? Yes, you do. The Divine Masculine has had to make some sacrifices to be victorious and get through something. Justice is going to be served here for this masculine, but I just feel like this. there's this real strong warrior energy. I like all my life I had to fight or masculine is literally having to fight for their life right now. Literally. They might even be going through some form of legal battle, okay? This divine masculine could own a business. They could um, be a leader in the community or something of some sort here. Or this is somebody with a lot of obligations, a lot of responsibilities. Like a lot of people count on this person, this masculine, and look up to this masculine. This masculine is really like responsible for a lot of things. I feel like right now this masculine could be also too, they may be someone who has great wisdom and experience in certain areas in their life. And this is somebody who people go to, to get advice from. And I feel like this masculine feels like they don't have anybody they can go to and get advice from. But they're receiving some form of guidance and divine inspiration. But it's like, I feel like this masculine is holding back. All right. I feel like this masculine is holding back. So let's see. We're going to start with this divine masculine because I feel like feminine, you're doing okay right now. We'll start with this masculine to see what's going on with it, with him. So what do we have here for divine masculine? Hold on, you guys. Okay. What's this energy here for divine masculine? What's this conflict? And this chaos energy for Divine Masculine. Somebody feels trapped in a home. Somebody feels trapped in a... Like... Yeah, someone here feels trapped in a home or trapped in a situation right here. And you know what? Something's going on with this masculine where they've been blinded to the truth. Somebody here in this person's home was keeping secrets from them, hiding things, money I'm getting here. Things appear to be real happy with this with this person and this family dynamic. Could be family dynamic here. This is the four of wands with the eight of swords. Okay. Somebody feels stuck and trapped in their own home. They're not happy. Show me more about this energy and this chaos. Yeah, the nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here, this masculine is attached to somebody here that they could live with or they could have been married to or someone in their family. Nine of pentacles in reverse is energy of like somebody being codependent. There's somebody here that depended on this masculine for financial reasons and gains is what I'm getting here. Show me more about what's going on with this masculine. Ten of swords. Yeah, whoever this person is, ten of swords. Whoever this person is, they betrayed this masculine. They backstabbed them. That's why this masculine is feeling like they having to fight over something. Or they, they might even really be going through some form of legal battle over property, a home, money. Uh, I feel like this masculine is trying to sever, tie, sever ties from somebody who tried to ruin their life. Because this, this, they, are being, they were betrayed and they're trying to get the hell away from this person. This masculine had a painful ending recently here. So that's, you know... Yeah, that's the delay here. I feel like you're a little bit ahead of this masculine. Show me more for this masculine. This masculine is hitting rock bottom. They could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. This is somebody here who was really loving, showed up in a very kind, nurturing way here. Remember I was saying earlier, like, this is somebody, this masculine is someone who... A lot of people rely on, depend on, but there's somebody they can have 
they give good advice. They're a supportive person. They were a loyal person. I feel like this person was very devoted and they were manipulated. Eight of Cups. Now this masculine is walking away. This masculine is walking away. Um, I feel like this masculine told this feminine that they're ready and they're done. And this feminine doesn't like it. Show me more hair for this masculine. You know why this person doesn't like this? Because, yeah, there goes that Ten of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to be alone or without this person because they're dependent on this masculine for money. I told you Ten of, Pen of, Ten of Pentacles. This masculine is a provider. The star energy. This masculine is uh, um, definitely the star energy and the Nine of uh, Cups here. I... I Somebody likes attention. This other person that they're with here. Yeah. Somebody is here is having to walk away from money. They're having to walk away from stability. This masculine could be concerned or in a legal battle over money, like I'm saying here. Um, what's this Ten of Swords? How was this masculine betrayed? What happened? Okay. The Ace of Cups. So definitely was a love connection. How was... Show me how this masculine was betrayed. Uh-oh. Hold on. Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Jeez. I'm telling you, whoever this feminine was or is... Show me this Queen of Swords in reverse. They painted it out like they made it seem like they loved. I'm telling you, this Queen of Swords showed up. It's like, oh, I love you. You know, we depend on you. Um, this feminine gave this masculine a headache. Show me this Queen of Swords in reverse. But that's not who this person actually was. This is a bitter... This is a really bitter, angry user is what I'm getting here. Manipulative, manipulative. Show me this Queen of Swords in reverse. Very immature person. A very immature person. Divine Masculine, I'm just going to say this. This feminine doesn't want this masculine that's attached to this divine masculine currently that who told he's he wants to walk away. This feminine knows that this masculine wants something new and they, they're tired of this situation. They're ready for something new here. I see the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups being here with the Queen of Cups just came out upright. This Queen of Swords came out in reverse. Show me this Queen of Cups energy. There's a perfect, this masculine knows there's a perfect match. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Show me this Queen of Cups. The Empress told you. This is you. This other person. This other... <laughs> Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Empress. The King of Cups is already out here, but this other person that is reliant on your on this Divine Masculine, whether you met him yet or not, came out as this Queen of Swords in reverse. I just, this is your true partner, Three of Pentacles. This is the person that you're going to build with. The two of you are going to support each other. This is your true match. This is your true match. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. Show me the situation here. Let's dig in a little bit deeper with, for this Divine Masculine. All right. Show me more here for this Divine Masculine, please. Show me the situation going on with this Divine Masculine and this other person that betrayed them. Toxic. Told you drama, arguments, incompatible. You, the, your masculine is showing up out here as the king of cups and you are out here as the queen of cups and the empress. Show me more here. Clarify this ten of swords. 
whatever betrayal this betrayal was it came out in the open okay epiphany this person is realizing the truth is out okay i feel like this masculine didn't trust his intuition about this person he had an inkling he saw signs he didn't listen he didn't listen now he's feeling like he wants to guard himself now. Show me this Ten of Swords. What's this epiphany about? What's this epiphany about? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Karmic relationship. I told you. Can't make it up. This is a karmic relationship here. Okay. It's There's a lot of turmoil here. This masculine is realizing this is not my person. This is not supposed to be a fight. Why do I always feel like there is a fight? Why does this person depend on me so damn much? This person cannot even communicate. All this person does is bitch, bitch, bitch. Talk about money. Talk about this. Talk about that. I want this. I want that. Give me this. Give me that. You know, it's like <sighs> this masculine wants good vibes only. Okay. This masculine wants to live in the moment. I also feel like, too, this this karmic that this masculine is trying to run away from that that betrayed them. This is somebody here who I feel like is just only it's very selfish for like what they can get right now. Me, me, me is the energy that I'm getting here. I told you there's some legal issues here. Bottom of the deck, legal court paperwork could be a divorce, could be over money. This person depends on this masculine for quite a bit. Tell me more about this betrayal and this karmic relationship. This is somebody who, this karmic is about to chase this masculine because their, their money is getting ready to dry up. I'm telling you, there's a codependency. They depend on this person for money. Um, whatever it is, okay? This person is fearing that it's truly over. Yeah, but it is over. <laughs> Look at that. I turned the card over and it literally says death. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead, honey. This is a cycle. This is over. This, this, this person is masculine. is ready to heal and be, be gone, honey. Hello? Antisocial, in your feelings, silent treatment left out. So this masculine left this feminine in in silence and in this feminine is about to chase after them they are losing their shit i feel like <sighs> jesus well show me more here so what what how is this masculine feeling now how is this masculine feeling now he's learning a very valuable lesson he's look he's in a um uh, mindset of reflecting on the past he legitimately wants to learn from this and do something better and do something different here with this camera energy i'm telling you he does he wants he is a twin flame you guys look at this he knows there's a divine feminine a divine counterpart out there that he can have true intimacy with true balance with a true union with he knows his counter true counterpart is out there he knows there's someone out here that can give him the mutual respect and and be honest and loyal this says this card says mutual respect unity closeness twin flames yin yang balance union duality complement each other polar opposites like he knows this that's he's hopeful he is hopeful that he is going to find this. Okay. So let's move on to Divine Feminine. Because I feel like now we got the T on Divine Masculine. Okay. So show me here. I'm going to use a different deck for Divine Feminine. Hold on a second. Yeah. Show me Divine Feminine's current energy here, please. Divine Feminine. Divine timing. I feel like you're being patient. You're persevering. We already know you've been through a lot. You've been through it. And you know it's going to come when it's supposed to come. So you're just going to, yeah, you're pausing. 
you're like, I'm in a, I'm in a mode of reflection. I'm taking a pause to heal. Listen to what spirit is telling me. Listen to how spirit is guiding me here. You're, you're doing everything you can to stay calm and balanced. And you're just waiting for a sign from the universe. On you, that's what you do. You trust in the universe if you resonate as divine feminine, and you listen, and then you take action. You know, um, once you hear. You could be feeling a little stuff right now, um, or you might be feeling a little bit delayed, some of you guys, but you, when it comes to love, but here, here's the thing, like, you're not stuck. You are right where you're supposed to be. The delay is just here, this car, this masculine head to go through this with this karmic. And now that we see they have this epiphany with this ace of swords and this epiphany energy here, now they know this is over. They know what they deserve. Show me Divine Feminine's energy. Karmic. You had a karmic partner too. And you surrendered them to. Lord have mercy. Look at this. Karmic partner and surrender. Y'all just let that go too. You let, you let something go too. I just still feel like you already let this um, karmic person go already. You already let them go. They do want your forgiveness and you've even thought about forgiving them. You can forgive that karmic partner and let them go. I just love how I'm using a totally different day. Karmic partner came out for you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> and look at this. We saw it, remember? This is Divine Masculine in a totally different deck. Look at y'all. Y'all both went through the same thing. Show me Divine Feminine energy. You detached, you just recently detached from something. But the thing is, I feel like you're trusting that this was meant to happen the way that it was. I feel like this masculine really fought this for a while. They were in denial. They didn't believe this karma. Yeah, you were, you're ready for a fresh start. You're like, you know what? I give it to God. I'm just going to trust, do my healing work. Yeah, I know I'm. Re I, you're, you're releasing the past. You know there's something new coming in for you. So you got to give this divine masculine some time. Show me more for this divine feminine. I love when this happens. Divine feminine. Cool. Um. <sighs> Clarify this ego energy. Hold on. Okay, thank you. Cause I was like, wait, what are we talking about here? Cause I, I don't, I don't see you, divine feminine, being too much in your ego with this energy here. You know what this is? Y'all have a lot of. Um, there are some people who are jealous of you. I feel like, but that's a whole nother reading. We're not gonna focus on that. There's some potential here. Your potential is limitless, divine feminine. You're in this boss energy, this masculine energy here. You, um, there's a lot of potential for your future. Your future is bright. Okay. Um, there's something here to do with the material world, your money, career, your status. You are making your mark. You uh, are trying to get a business off the ground here. It may not be going the way that you feel like it should be going right now, and that's okay. But I just feel like divine. My family, you have big goals. You have big dreams. You're in this emperor energy. You are. Just release. Make sure you're releasing the need to have control over something. Or you're not working too hard. Or you're not overdoing it. Don't be too much in this materialistic energy. Or like... Maybe you're not, you know, this could very well be you, divine feminine, in the energy of light. I'm just in my bag. That's all I'm concerned about. That's all I'm going to be worried about. Show me divine feminine energy. Romance. You're looking for something new. Love is in the air for you. Uh, open yourself to romance. So you are open to romance. So in the mean, yeah, look at you, divine feminine, coming out. <laughs> Look at this. You're waiting on your new love. You're waiting on your new love patiently. Looking good. Working on your bag. Working on your money. I love this for you. You are open and ready to receive your harvest. Your one true love. Open-minded, abundant, and ready. This literally says ready. It's your time to receive divine feminine. It's your time to receive, honey. Yes. I love this for you. This says outcome, results, conclusion, ending. You will get a resolution. 
and then release. Continue to release, okay? And be open to receive new. Forgive the karmic relationship or the karmic partner from the past and let that go if you haven't already. Okay. What else do we have here? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? This um, masculine here is separating from somebody or they're divorced. Um, so I'm telling you, whoever this masculine is, they are a business owner, okay? There's somebody here who is a leader. Yeah. They're disappointed right now. They might even be going, I'm telling you, they're going through some form of crisis about this karmic ending. Literally, I feel like something about their life is changing. You know, this is giving like they had a real good like social life, like, you know, uh, elite life. But it's like that whole world is not what they thought it was. And that's all changing. This person is looking for a real love. You know, but they didn't have the real love. Look at this sad news and courtship. This masculine is receiving this sad news about this courtship. And, and unfortunately, I feel like this feminine is the one who's receiving this sad news that this masculine is over. Um, that this relationship is over with this masculine. Show me more here. Yeah. Yeah. Fatality. I'm telling you. This is over. This is over. This is over. The outcome is not going to be... Look, somebody's packing their stuff up and they're leaving and they're gone. Change. T movement, adaptability, relocation, travel, career change, and rest restlessness. So somebody here could even physically be moving. False person. I'm telling you. False person. Sly, evasive, watch out, dishonesty, deception, hidden lies, deceit, and danger. That's that karmic partner. I'm telling you, this karmic partner is, yeah, of course. Somebody is getting, this false person is getting some, this false person tried to forge some documents or some court documents or they lied on some court documents and somebody's being found out. Somebody's being called out. Court official in letter. Rich man. Can't make it up. Told you somebody's got successful Ten of Pentacles is out here. This is a business person, an entrepreneur. This is somebody here who definitely is of some form of... Yep, look at this. Rich lady and rich man. And I shuffled these damn cards and money. Yeah, this was somebody's leaving this situation. I feel like this was so much in the 3D, you know. Somebody was over here operating in in a in in the 5D, unfortunately. I'm sorry, in the 3D, which is materialistic, too materialistic, and unfortunately this masculine has learned a very valuable lesson here. Um, but you know, they're gonna come out of it and they're learning a very valuable lesson. I feel like the two of y'all both were dealing with these karmic partners. You both learned some valuable lessons. You did. Yeah. And then this is what's going to bring y'all into union. I don't know if I need to get any other information. Let me see. So what's next for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? What's next for this true divine masculine and true divine feminine? Page of Pentacles. What's next for true divine masculine, divine feminine? Yeah, you guys are about to be doing a lot of studying, a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of like looking back over your past, trying to figure out what lessons that you need to learn. Because you're, you're going to take this and use it as wisdom. Somebody here could even be going to school. Somebody here is definitely learning a very spiritual lesson. There goes that hair font. Yeah. What's next for this true divine masculine and divine feminine? Union. Four of wands. 
union. Just period. I'm going to end it there. With the hair font back on the end of the, the bottom of the deck. With temperance. With temperance. And look at who's trying to peek their head out. The devil. But guess who wins? God. God wins. Temperance and hair font is God-like energy. The devil ain't winning shit over here. The devil ain't running shit. There will be karmic justice. There will be karmic balance. Things will be brought back into play, honey. Believe that because the two of y'all have been strong. Resilience. You made it through all these obstacles, all this drama. You heal. Doing the work. Anyway, that was a good reading. Y'all, um, hit the like button. I hope y'all liked it, the format. I'll see y'all later. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And um, I'll see you later. If you need a personal reading, that information is in the, in the description box. Bye.